It's time now for an update on our Summit Credit Union Project Money segment where area families are competing for the chance to win 10000 bucks by learning how to reduce their debt and increase their savings. Now, each competing team has a Summit Credit Union financial coach to guide them. And Adam Grady is a branch manager at Summit Credit Union's Waukesha branch. And now you are Katie Press's coach. So tell us about Katie. What are some of the financial challenges that she faces? Well, Katie came to us already experiencing some success. She was a graduate student from the University of Marquette. Mm -hmm. uh, she also was able to purchase her own home. And in the process of, of achieving some of the success, she's actually um, found that came at a price of some credit card debt from the home and some student loans. So what are some of the strategies you discussed with Katie then? Uh, in our initial dis discussions, Katie really wanted to focus on getting the debt paid down. Um, but as we talked a little bit more, we found out that some of the credit card debt came from not having an established savings account okay. in the event of emergencies. Okay, and you've got three strategies here we're going to have you elaborate on to, to help people uh, build a savings while paying off debt. And first is to continue to pay at least the minimum payments on your credit card. Absolutely. Keeping up with your minimum payments by themselves is going to do a lot of things for you as far as keeping your credit safe and then continue to build your credit. And also it will allow you then to focus on achieving that savings goal so you can then work on the debt. Okay. Number two is to allocate extra money into a separate emergency savings account until you reach a minimum of $1,000 or you could come up with your own goal there. Yeah. As you're paying your minimum payments, you'll be able to take money that you have set aside and put them into the savings account. In Katie's case, we're actually do, able to take $250 monthly and establish a savings account up to $1,000. Okay. Rule of thumb is probably... Uh, three to six months worth of expenses in that emergency savings account, but for Katie's case, we're starting mm -hmm. with a thousand. Okay, so point three is once you reach your savings goal, then you want to adjust your allocation to savings and debt. What does that mean? Well, um, after you've hit that savings mm -hmm. goal, then you can start to shift your focus back to the debt. Okay. Uh, for Katie's example, um, she was able to hit her goal recently of establishing an emergency savings, decrease her amount that she's saving by okay. $150. So now she's saving $100 in the savings account, wow. going straight towards that, uh, that emergency savings, a three to six months worth of expenses but now taking that extra $150 and putting it towards your credit cards. Wow, we've just got 30 seconds left. So what do you tell people that are in a similar situation as Katie? They've got maybe big student debt, they're not able to save, and they just feel it's hopeless. What do you tell them? Sure. I think the biggest thing is to take a step back and figure out what the situation looks like and, and assign some goals. Uh, as soon as you have your, those goals set, you'll be able to get a budget down on paper to meet those goals. And, and the budget plan is, a, is there to build wealth in the long term. Um, so. Take a look at what you want to accomplish and eat that elephant one bite at a time. <laughs> Great advice. Adam Grady, Summit Credit Union, thank you. And if you would like to find out more about our Project Money teams and the competition going on, we put a link up there and get some advice to yourself at NBC15.com under news links. Thank you, Adam. Great job. Thank you. We'll be right back with Final Check the Forecast after the break.